What's up? Let me give a shout out to all of the 5%, the action takers, to the people who are taking the advice, but more importantly, to the people who are executing on the advice. There's another comment. Because of this man, I'm making an extra $1,500 to $2,000 per month with a service business. I have been saying that for years. If you are broke, start a service business. But there, that seems to be a problem for many of you because you don't want to work. You looking at Tyrone and Chad and Adina and Gladys and they like, hey, they look like they're making money hand over fist super easy. I want to be like that. You don't know Gladys is sucking the D. Adina's taking it up the, you know. You don't know what these chicks are doing. You don't know what Tyrone and Chad are doing. You need to be concerned about yourself and about your money. Because one of the things, and this is just, and maybe it shouldn't have got to me, but the number of people who want me to interview past students so you can see and you could go pester these people. Because that's what's going to happen. So you could go ahead and contact them and ask them questions, asking all of these questions, asking all of these questions, asking all of these questions, asking, so you don't have to pay no money. I know how y'all think. And this is one of the things, and I'm going to tell you something. I help YouTubers and I help a lot of business people, and the people that have gotten the best results do not want to be like, hey, you know, I got the game from you. I don't really want anyone to know. I want people to think I have to figure this stuff out by myself. Typically. And I've talked to other folks who do training and they have similar results because everybody wants to feel that they've done it on their own or they don't want to go ahead and say where I got this help. And it's very interesting. So for the people who are waiting for me to interview some students so y'all can ask them all those questions and pester them, why don't you buy a course and get busy? Because if you've been watching the channel and you've been watching the videos and you've been reading the comments, I've got plenty of testimonials in the comments from real people who took the courses, who spent money, and these are the first people to super chat, the folks who've already spent money. They super chat. And I want you to think about that, but you still like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. You waiting on Jesus. You waiting on Gandhi. You wait no Mother Teresa. You wait no somebody to bless you with some skill sets and a business and some money, and it ain't gonna happen. So stop waiting. What are you waiting on? Get off your butt. Get busy. Start making this money. Start getting this Wi-Fi bread. And see, you know, because what I'm doing is exponentially increasing my five percent. So, you know, let's say I have 50 people in my 5%. Let's X them up to 100,000 people. So I got to reach more people to exponentially increase the 5% of executioners and action takers. Because one of the things that I see, and, you know, like I said, it, it shouldn't bother me, but how does watching what someone else has done help you? I don't understand that. I've never seen anybody do something like, okay, well, because they did it, now I, I can go ahead and make a try. I, I, I don't know what that feels like. I mean, seriously, I'm not talking junk. I'm not being uh, disrespectful. I'm just like, this person did X, Y, and Z. But then again, I know that, you know, there's this, this used to be this radio host called Paul Harvey. And he used to do this thing where he would tell the rest of the story. So I'm always looking at, someone's success from a vantage point of there's what I see and there's what I don't see. So I don't look at it like, like take these Instagram chicks. I can't get the results. I can see them. They can interview. They can talk. I can't get these results because I'm not a pretty chick with some double D's and a tiny little waist and a nice little tan. I can't, I can watch all day. I can't get these results because I don't have the ingredients and this is one of the things, you know, instead of waiting to watch what someone else is doing, get busy yourself. 
This is, you know, stop wasting time. Stop looking for excuses. Cut the crap. Because this Wi-Fi bread is out here, bruh. This Wi-Fi bread is out here. It's real. It's legit. And it can be for you if you would execute. And, you know, I'm Glendon Cameron, your hustling godfather. And one of the things that I do these videos is to help you. And one of the reasons I do these videos is because they make me money. I feel that everybody should be a producer. Everybody should be an architect of the Internet. Everyone should be putting out content. Everyone should be rolling out courses. Because, you know, one of the things that got me when I first started was people attacking me like, man, why are you selling these courses, man? Why don't you go out and get a real job? Jealous puppies. These little jealous puppies. Because they were like, I want you, because what they were really saying, Glenn the Cameron, I want you to be like me. I want you to suffer. I want you to look forward to the weekends. I don't want you living that Wi-Fi bread life, bruh. I don't want you living that life. You making that money. You make more money in a week than I make in a year. I, 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 I really don't want to hear that from you, bruh. I, I, I really, really don't want to hear that. I want you to suffer. I want you to downgrade your life. I want you to be like me, miserable. And, you know, this I don't get that anymore because everybody's kind of hip to the game. It's like, hey, you know, you know, people that are hip to advertisements, people are hip to commercials. Everybody's trying to make some money wherever they can. And people, most for the most part, are cool with this because one of the things that you got to understand, I buy online courses and I participate in, 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 in conferences and I participate in masterminds. I have never sold a mastermind. Because typically these are very expensive because they're hands-on intensives. So when I'm thinking about coming up with something for y'all. But seriously, quit waiting for the right mythical, majestical moment to take action. That is not going to cut it in the future. Because one of the things that is happening is... You are getting older. And uh, that video that I put up, if you devote four to five years of your life, the next 70 could be great. That resonated. That touched a few people. That like that concept blew my mind. It's like, wait a minute. You know, you're 25 years old. You start now, work hard to 30. You live to 70. That's 40 years of your life that you live comfortably. You are living the good life. But if you never make that decision to tamp down and bust out, you, you could be struggling from 25 to 75. <coughs> you could be struggling, bro. You could be struggling like a mug. Everything is a burden. Everything is a hardship. And then, God forbid you have kids, you will give them their inheritance from you will be the struggle. Well, this is how we struggle. This is how we do it here. This is how we make ends meet. This is how we get a little gas money. These are the lessons that you're unconsciously giving to your children. What do you think about that? So also, once again, I'll, I'll say this for the people in the back. I feel that you should get married and have a wife and you should before you have kids because kids need both their parents. And if you are following the percepts of Glendon Cameron, the Hustles LLC, you a single man. You bought your money. You live in your best life. You build the business and all of this stuff you will have before you meet that woman and like, hey, let's get married and have some chilling, your life going to be better, bruh. It's going to be so much better. You will have money. You will have ease. You will have comfort. You won't be worried about the bill, man. You won't be worried about the snatch or repo, man. That would be like, because, you know, you won't have to worry about the repo, man, because your car was paid for before you drove it off the lot because you laid down that cashier's check. There ain't no repo, man, coming for people who pay cash for their cars. 
There ain't no repo man for the person who pays cash for most things and has good credit. There ain't no repo man coming. How would you like to live like that? How would you like to be able to have a health crisis and actually your money gets more, your money increases? Why are you sick? Why you can't work? You still have more money coming in. This is the power of a business. The sooner you start it, the see you, you got to take advantage of the good times. Right now, you ain't sick. Right now, you don't have any medical issues. Right now, you have no bad anything, no bad juju up in your life. This is the time for you to execute. This is the time for you to get busy. Because once the little rain starts coming in your life, once you have a few hardships, once you have a few health care scares, it, it gets hard. And you, you just ain't built nothing. Because, you know, one of the things I like to do is watch these homeless videos. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of them on YouTube of people who are homeless, why they're homeless. And none of these people have ever built anything. And then, you know, this guy, he interviews prostitutes and stuff. And none of the, you know, some of these folks have horrible stories. They had bad parents who never produced or built anything. And then they, they gave these horrible legacies to their children. And then their children developed this wicked addiction. And the children out there sucking the D for $5 to get a crack rock. That's the inheritance that you will give your kids if you don't bust out and show out and build something. Because, you know, my daughter, she didn't ask for money much, but whatever she does, it's like, here it is. Because I have it. You know, I remember I would never ask my mom for anything because I knew she didn't have it. It was pointless. It was a waste of air. And no child should be in the position where they're afraid to ask their parents for something because their parents don't have no money. Your job as a parent is to protect, provide, and bring cover for your children. And a lot of y'all are using your kids' names and social security numbers for electric bills and all this other stuff. Stop that. Just stop it. Become a responsible parent. Because before you become a responsible parent, you need to be a responsible person. And you need to go ahead and start putting your stuff together, decking it out, getting ready for the future. You need to do this because understand one of the things that is starting to happen is it's getting harder to make this Wi-Fi bread because a lot of these youngins are figuring it out. You have so many youngins out here who are making 10, 20, 15, 30, 40, 50, 60, 100 K per month. They, they're altered. They ain't gonna never, these folks ain't gonna never, ever, ever, ever get a job. They're ill suited for a job. Once you make a hundred K a month. Yeah. I, you miss me with that job stuff. I'm out here getting this Wi-Fi bread. I'm out here making this money. I'm out here online. I'm educating. I'm instructing people. I'm an architect of the internet. A builder, a contributor, not just a consumer. Because all you folks who just consuming the internet, you hustling backwards. You need to start building the internet. You need to start making some money because the money is all around us. You know, a lot of you are trying to buy Bitcoin to outpace your debts. Well, I'll put a little fire at all on this Bitcoin. And Bitcoin in turn go up to 25000 then I can sell my Bitcoin and pay my debts off. Uh, that ain't going to work for most of y'all. Bitcoin's too volatile. So one of the things that we need to do is get busy. Get busy, get busy, get busy, get busy. Now, my courses provide a blueprint for your success. And, you know, it's very interesting how... People know themselves. I have a reason that one of the reasons you don't, you're not buying my courses is you know that I'm going to require you to work. You know that I'm going to require you to do something different. You know that you, you got to do some stuff. And a lot of y'all just lazy. But you over here want to be like Tad and Chiron. 
Like Chad over here, Chad got a Porsche. You know, Chad ain't do nothing. You don't know Chad stays up to 3 o'clock every morning working on his internet business. But you don't see that with Chad. All you see is Chad out there, teeth all clean. He driving that Porsche. He got big booty Betty next to the C2. And that's all you see. You don't see the other work. Because, you know, one of the things that I love talking about entrepreneurs, people who have who walked the walk, who talk the talk, is there's so much that doesn't have to be said because I can say just a few things and this guy knows that I'm real. This guy knows that I'm real. Because I've walked that walk, I've been on that journey, and we have the best conversations because you have people who are executors, people who are executing on the high level. And this is why, you know, I think business conferences are so hot because you get all that entrepreneur energy. You get these people out here who are doing stuff, who are making things happen, who ain't sitting on their butt complaining, who are not amygdal for life. Red pill, red pill. Some of you guys have let MGTOW and Red Pill take over your life. It's become a lifestyle of hate and scarcity. Because if you had invested six months into figuring out how to, how can I get better women? And you worked on it from that angle versus I'm going to be with the MGTOW people, be with the Red people. Yeah, we're going to sit around and talk about these chicks. We're going to hate on these chicks. We're going to call them names. We ain't going to learn nothing about female nature. We ain't going to provide any solutions to our problems. All we're going to do is commiserate online and have a wine fest. You're doing the same thing with your business. You ain't trying to shake nothing up. You ain't putting nothing up, bro. Like I'm telling you, most of the MGTOWs are poor. Most of the red pillars are poor. Most of them. That's ironic. Poor, poor men complaining about women liking men who want, who want men, women who want men with money. Bro, that ain't going to change. It's, hypergamy is a DNA encoded behavior of women. So this is part of the grand design. Women, by the virtue of God, were created to be that way. That's how this system works, bro. But y'all like, well, we don't want to we don't want to work the system. And you know what? If you were working on solutions like I don't want to play in this system, if you were working on building your own chessboard, if you were working on your own game plan, I I could respect that. But I can't respect all of this hate, whining, and cause see, once again, there is a very fine line, because most of the people who are hopping on planes to go practice American hypergamy, they really don't have no money. They really don't have no money. So get your bread up. Get your Wi-Fi money going, bruh. Get, go ahead and get that. Because one of the things that's going to happen is you're getting older. And the way this American system works now, if you're not a producer or a creator or someone, whether online or offline, you're getting older and poorer. Poorer. So you're getting older, and you have less money. I want you to think, you know, th this is how a lot of us see. The way that a man's income is, typically, unless you are a business owner, your income peaks in your mid-40s. And then it starts going down, 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 down. So you tap out, and you start going the other way, unless you're a producer. As a business owner, you can make more money in your 40s. As a business owner, you can have one year that you'll make one month more money in one year than you did in your previous 25 years. That's the power of a business. Y'all don't hear me. Because if you did, you'd be up hooping and clapping and be like, I'm I'm got my LLC papers. And for those of you who are interested in the Hustlers LLC, the price is about to go way up. So I'm going to change it tomorrow. So you, you should get in there and get it now. Because, you know, once again, we're about to do a lot of training, a lot of instruction, uh, setting people up for the win, setting the people up for these big, bodacious, beautiful lives. You know, you're you going to have a house with a pool. 
the acre front lawn, the two acres in the back. You got this nice house. You're going to be rolling up your long driveway in your Lambo, your Porsche GTS, your, your Bentley, your Rolls. Your wife's going to have a Range Rover. Your little kids will be going to private school and you will have money in the bank. That's where we go. None of this hotel. Oh, let's sing, let's sing some Negroes old school spirituals while we embrace the poverty scarcity mindset. None of that here. None of that. So hopefully this message has found you happy, fat, and fancy. Hopefully.